few months ago I became a fully qualified mental health first aider um, on a course with Joanne Doherty of Star Education. Uh, thank you Joanne for doing that course with us, I'll speak more about it in a minute, but it became important for me to talk about that course today or this week um, with the really sad news that a young man from my village, Glen Boyg, and actually living on the same estate within 100 metres as the crow flies, um, sadly passed away um, last week. Uh, Thomas was 16 and his funeral is, is today, Saturday. I really felt the need to, to speak about it today, um, to speak about the importance of that mental health first aid course. as a way to show my respect to Thomas and his family at this really, really sad time for them. It's really important that all young people have people that they can talk to, whether it's their friends or people in positions of authority and education within their family and within their community. And in memory of Thomas, really, I wanted to make sure that everyone in my local community, everyone within my online community, um, feels that they're able to come and speak to me if if they have an, or experience any difficulties uh, whatsoever in their lives. Um, because we all really do need someone to speak to. Uh, on Joanne's mental health first aid course, we covered a wide range of topics that can lead to people to why they experience mental health problems and what can happen when they do experience problems with their mental health. Um, and then what you should do about it. Like the role of a first aider when someone is injured or hurt. Um, when you're a first aider, you are competent, trained and qualified to offer that person immediate support whilst contacting the proper authorities, be it an ambulance, police or whatever you need. And a mental health first aider does exactly the same thing. It's your role as a mental health first aider to identify, help, help someone identify or someone can approach you with a problem and you're the first line of support before encouraging them or assisting them to contact the proper authorities to give them a professional to speak to. You know, this, I've tried to help friends in the past when I was younger and really those friends probably needed professional help whilst I was trying to apply a giant plaster over their problems. Not only was I not qualified and experienced enough to do so, I maybe made it worse by not encouraging them or knowing that they should go to speak to someone professionally. Now, speaking to someone professionally can be scary, but it's something I've done in the past year um, through BetterHelp, which is like an app service that you can use to speak to a therapist. I've done that within the past year. And that was really, really helpful for me. That's my call really today in memory of Thomas, is that if there's any young people, adults, anyone at all, who needs someone to speak to, well then I am more than happy to speak to you if you need that. Not only as a mental health first aider, I've got my uh, Keep Safe Ambassador course that I did with Police Scotland uh, a few years ago as well. So I've got a few different talents and skills and qualifications that I can use to support people. And that, that's the best thing I can say really about Joanne's course that she delivers is the space that's created by Joanne uh, online for online learning. But I'm sure she does this in person as well. Um, is an area for discussion and lots of different topics are covered between people from all around the world in my case on the course that i was on um, it was an open floor which joanne hosted and facilitated for us and maybe every course would be different but i was very very grateful to joanne for giving me the opportunity to to jump onto that course and also how she handled uh, the delivery and the assessment of the course as well it was all very easy to do. Like most things, there is a little test at the end. You know, your first aid courses have similar, but it was a very valuable experience and great acting skills by Joanne as well. So that's the main thing I want to, to speak about today. I didn't know Thomas when he was alive, but I will certainly remember him. And I'd like you all to remember the importance of speaking to someone. And if you know someone who you think does need some help, all you can do is offer them the space to speak to you, make arrangements with them, um, I invite them to spend time with you, invite them to your home, go out and do something in public, especially with activity. Um, I always meet new clients in an active space and this was part of the training that was covered in Joanne's mental health first aid course as well. So thank you Joanne, thank you Star Education and thank you to all the other residents of Glenboig 
like my family who took some time out of their day today to pay their respects to Thomas as he passed through, passed by his home for the last time.